good morning and welcome. It's Corporate Governance Platform brought to you by the Institute of Chartered Secretaries and Administrators of Nigeria, Ixan I am Fumi Omoburiwo. Let me remind you that Ixan is a leading recognized professional body in Nigeria dedicated to enhancing the status and practice of corporate governance and public administration. Today on the program, we want to look at... Um, the managing director's responsibilities as a delegate of the board and head of management. And of course, our guest uh, is Mr. Michael Fakayode, ACIS, is the immediate past PRO of the Oyo State Chapter of Ixan. Good morning, Mr. Fakayode. Good morning, madam. Good morning. How are you? All right. Thank you for joining us right here on Corporate Governance Platform. All right, with me in the studio, I have uh, Mr. Michael Umogun, Deputy Registrar of Operations, Iksan. Good morning, Mr. Umogun. Good morning, for me. Good morning, listeners. Nice to be here once again. All right, also in the studio is Mr. Kyle D. Ketefe, FCIS, Head of Research, Iksan. Good morning, Mr. Ketefe. Good morning, for me. Good morning to you, our guest, Mr. Michael Fakayodi. Good morning, Mr. And good yeah. morning to you, all morning. our listeners. All right, we're going to take this message and we'll be right back. Hey, Obina, good to see you. Uh, you look so worried. Is everything all right? I'm having serious issues in my company. Balancing the interests of my company's many stakeholders like shareholders, management, customers, financiers, government, and community is giving us a problem. Mm, that has to do with corporate governance. Exactly. Then, you need to get in touch with ICSAN. Ixan? Yeah. Institute of Chartered Secretaries and Administrators of Nigeria, ICSAN. They provide you with seasoned and top-ranking professionals trained to uphold the standards of corporate governance and efficient operations. You can also get in touch with Ixan if you want to become a Chartered Secretary and Administrator. Contact Ixan by visiting the website www.ixan.org or call 0096-60169. Ixan, the hub of governance professionals. All right, and definitely the hub of governance professionals. As I said earlier, we're looking at the managing director's responsibilities as a delegate of the board and head of management. All right, Mr. Fakade, let's look at uh, the basic roles of uh, the managing director. Okay, thank you. desirable in uh, corporate governance for the managing director to also function as the chairman of the company? Okay, thank you. There are several reasons, madam, why it is not desirable for the managing director to also function as the chairman of the organization or chairman of the board. Number one is that it can create a conflict of interest. As the managing director may be more focused on their own interests than the interests of the organization as a whole. Secondly, they can also lead to lack of accountability as because the MD will be both making decisions 
commission uh, are reporting on what decision to the board. Finally, it can create imbalance of the power as the MD will have too much control over the organization. Thank you, Madam. All right. Now, what does the function of the managing director uh, as a delegate, what, what does it entail uh, as a delegate of the board? What does it entail? Uh, as a delegate of the board, yes. the MG is responsible for carrying out the decisions of the board and to implement the organization's strategy. They also report back to the board on the organization's progress. And any issue that may arise, and the managing director is ultimately accountable to the board for the performance of the organization. Okay. All right. So, does he have a, a function different from this as a, the head of management? Uh, actually, um, actually, uh, the MD as the head. Of the management delegated yes. by the board to run the affairs of the company to achieve its strategic objectives uh, for sustainable corporate performance. The managing director is responsible for the day to day management of the uh, company. They are also to implement the achievement of the company's strategic objectives. Uh, they the provide all with complete, accurate, and timely information and documentation. To enable it to make a uh, sound decision and finally bring the company's uh, leading representative in its dealings with its uh, stakeholders. That's the way I see it. Okay, so there is a provision of the code that the MD CEO should declare any conflict of interest on appointment and annually thereafter. Now, what do you think uh, is the rationale for this? Okay, the first rationale or the first reason is it is that it's important for the board and the, the organization as a whole to, have, to be aware of any potential of interest. Why? So that they can take appropriate action to avoid or to mitigate them. And that reason is that it's a way of ensuring transparency and accountability. So the organization can demonstrate to its stakeholder that it is acting in a responsible and ethical manner. And finally, it is a way of protecting the organization and its stakeholder from any potential harm that could result or that can happen from a conflict of uh, interest. Thank you. All right. And uh, of course, also, I want us to look at another provision of the code and that's uh, the provision that the MD CEO should not be a member of uh, committees responsible for remuneration, audit, or nomination and uh, governance. Now, why is this so? Uh, it is very important for the uh, committees to be independent and objective. And having the managing director on the committee will compromise that independence. I, I know you will agree with me. Another reason is that the managing director may have a conflict of interest when it comes to matters of remuneration, uh, auditing, and the BA, and benefits personal and benefits personally from certain decisions. Right, anyway. And uh, thirdly, the managing director may be too close to the organization. And if you don't want that for them, it will provide, it will provide objective input on those matters. All right. Uh, does Ixan have specialized training preparing professionals uh, for the role of MDCU of companies? Yeah, that's my Ixan. That's my Ixan. Mm -hmm. Ixan, Ixan with a very rich faculty. In corporate governance, I told you, realize the need to constantly build capacity of not only our, our, our professional members like ours, 
but the general public, and also for the managing director role and other companies, other companies board members. These come in form of physical and in form of uh, remote options. Anyway. All right. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Michael Fakayadi, ACIS, uh, Immediate Past PRO or your state chapter of Ixan. Thank you so much for joining us on Corporate Governance yeah. Platform this morning. Okay. All right, uh, Mr. Ketefe, let me come to you. Now, what advice does Ixan have for the MDCU of companies in Nigeria on the issue of upholding the tenets of corporate governance? Thank you very much for me. Let me start by saying that they can seek the advice of uh, a professional institute like Ixan, which has acquired a reputation over the years as a leading voice on corporate governance matter. So they can consult Ixan on how to get the issue of uh, the uh, composition of the board, how to get it right, how to train their top management staff in uh, issues relating to governance, how to equip their managing directors with all the knowledge, expertise and insight to function uh, effectively and eff uh, efficiently on the board. Secondly, when you look at the Nigeria Code of Corporate Governance 2018, as released on January 15, 2019, uh, uh, it, it can be described as the single most comprehensive document which seeks to institutionalize the tradition of corporate values and ethical practices in Nigeria. So all these provisions are emanation of our time-tested best practices on corporate governance across the world. So are we, in, are we enjoying that corporate organization and uh, uh, adhere to the provisions of the, of, of the code? Because it reflects the best practices. Yeah, it's adherence to it will reflect positively on corporate performance in terms of uh, profitability, in terms of uh, sustainability. So that is the basic advice. Right? All right. Thank you, Mr. Ketefe. All right, Mr. Umogo, let me come to you for some announcements. Thank you very much for me. Um, Ixan is delighted to invite uh, members of the public and uh, members of the Institute to the 47th Annual Conference and Dinner of the uh, this professional association. The theme for this year's conference is sound governance as a, as a cursor uh, to um, a thriving economy, a case for inclusiveness. Uh, the dates for the conference um, are as follows. 21st, um, the, the main session, and on the 22nd, uh, a dinner for members and non-members. Uh, the venue is um, Muson Center, uh, Shell Hall, Unicorn, Lagos. Should you have any uh, reason to inquire or seek further information, uh, kindly call uh, Florence Oyedeji uh, on 0809 uh, 066 0922 0809 um, As the first announcement. The second one is from the training unit and we call on um, uh, members and um, non-members who are desirous of um, becoming certified auditor and board evaluator to be part of um, the training that the Institute has put in place uh, to take place from the 29th August to Friday 1st September. Uh, this training is um, mainly focused on um, uh, uh, imbibing the necessary um, capacity for uh, members and non-members that are interested in this particular function. Uh, for inquiries concerning this particular training, uh, you can call uh, Michael on 0802-311-7969. And for the two announcements made, you can go to our website for additional information. Our website is www.ixan.org. Thank you very much. For All right. Thank you, Mr. Michael Umogo, Deputy Registrar of Operations, Ixan, and uh, Mr. Kaudi Ketefe, FCIS, Head of Research, Ixan. Thank you for joining us My on the pleasure. program this morning. And that's how we'll wrap it up this morning on Corporate Governance Platform, brought to you by the Institute of Chartered Secretaries and Administrators of Nigeria.
Ixan. We're turning again next week, Wednesday, 10 15 a.m. on a fresh edition. I am Fumi Omoburu. Enjoy the rest of the day.